Hello everyone, welcome back to Starkey Formstead. You guys responded so well to the new New Hampshire bill that they have put forth in their state against weather modification and the bill, you know, that Louisiana is putting forth against illegal immigration. I thought I would go through and point out some really cool bills coming up in different states to give you ideas, to give you hope, you guys. We can fight on a state level. We most definitely can on a county and a town level. Let these ideas and these bills explode in your mind to give you somewhere to start in your own area. Take back your freedom. All is not lost, friends. Okay, let's start with Texas. This Texas bill states that if you kill a parent or a guardian of a child under the age of 19 in a DUI accident, you now owe child support to help raise that child. Go Texas. Moving on, Maryland comes in a close second in my book with their House Bill 606, which says if it is an insect flower or it has insect parts in the food, you have to have very specific labeling. And that includes, if it's in a restaurant, it has to be on the menu. So go Maryland in protecting our health through resisting us having to eat bugs. Thank you, Agenda 2030. Never count Utah out. Just don't count them out. Utah SB 151 protects cottage food laws. It's basically saying, you guys, that you can produce food in your home kitchen and be exempt from these major ridiculous licenses and certifications as long as people know that you made it at home and that it's not been certified. They also do a direct form to sell in the same bill, which helps producers like me. And my hat is off to Utah for protecting your small businesses and your small producers. Good for you. Now, this one got me super excited, you guys, because it was Mississippi, my neighbor. House Bill 362, but it's dead. So let me tell you what that means. It means it was basically killed before it was voted on. And let me tell you why. It was a Freedom to Food Act. Now, as far as I know, either Maine or Maryland is the only state to have a Freedom to Food Act on the books right now. And it means that the state, the federal government, and no political party or subdivision of a politi political party can interfere with from form to consumer sales directly from my property into your hands. Of course they killed it. Of course they did. Because how can you control food if you can't stop me from selling anything that I can produce to my consumers? So that is something, if you're looking to like be more involved in what's going on in your state, you definitely want to see something like New Hampshire with the Clean Air Act and stop weather modification in your state. You also want a Freedom to Food Act like Mississippi was attempting to do. And I hope that somebody will put forth another bill in Mississippi in 2024 to see that happen. As of June 2023, seven states specified that non-citizens may not vote. Alabama, Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Louisiana, North Dakota, and Ohio. And three states said they could. California, Maryland, and Vermont. Check your state. You can stop illegal aliens from voting. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video, you guys. And if you haven't done so, please consider helping us feed my community of hungry, hardworking Americans. You can go to GiveSendGo.com and look up the campaign Food for Thought. Thank you guys so much for rowing in our boat and letting us row in yours.